Annyeong. <laughs> Today we are going to look into how we are going to get the critical value from the z-table, given, of course, the confidence levels. So let's start with this problem. Find a critical value z alpha over 2 that corresponds to the confidence level. Uh, confidence level natin dito ay 95%. Before natin isolve ang z value, solve muna natin ang value ni alpha. Always remember that alpha is our level of significance. Ito ang ating level of significance, and this is our confidence level. How do we get the value of alpha? Okay, um, simply subtract mo lang si confidence level from 1. In this case, ang ating confidence level ay 95%. 95% in decimal is simply 0 0.95. Subtracting that, we are going to have 0 0.05. Na na natin ang alpha, but what we need is alpha over 2. So we have to divide this by 2. Now 0 0.05 divided by 2 is 0 0.025. Well, ano ba yung 0 0.025 na yan? Actually, that is an area under the normal curve. That is the area of our rejection region. Now, na divide yan by 2 because... Actually, the lowang region yan sa ating normal curve, yan is yung region na nasa gilid. Okay? Um, yung area na yan is 0 0.025. This is also 0 0.025. Ulitin ko, itong area na to ang ating rejection region. And nasa dyan ang ating critical value or yung Z value. Z value po is yung boundary between yung rejection region at yung ating acceptance region. Ulitin ko, ang critical value or yung Z value is yung um, boundary between the rejection region and the acceptance region. For us to get the Z value, we have to get this area. Yung area na yan, yung area ng acceptance region natin. In our class, para makuha natin yung area na yan, um, we have to get the area of this muna, and then subtract natin dyan. Okay? Always remember that the area of a normal curve is 1. Okay? So since half yan, that is 0 0.5, we just have to subtract uh, 0 0.025 from 0 0.5. And so the answer there is 0 0.475. Yan ang area dito. For us to find the Z value, kailangan natin tignan ang area na to sa Z table para malaman natin yung Z value. Okay, so take note of this, 0 0.475. Hanapin natin ang area na to sa Z table. 475, and I think I found it right here. Tingnan po yung katabi sa left, and that is 1.9. We save 1.9, and tingnan din yung katapat sa taas, and that is 0 0.06. If we're going to add this, is 1.90. Six. So, ang ating Z value here is 1.96. So, ganun lang po kung paano kumuha ng Z value. The critical value of the confidence level 95% is 1.96. So, let's have another example. What if yung confidence level natin ay 90%? Okay, let's try to solve for the critical value of this. Unang-una, isolve muna natin ang value ni alpha. That is 1 minus C. C is for your confidence level. Now, your confidence level here is 90%. And 90% in decimal is 0.90. If we're going to subtract it, that is 0 0.10. But what we need is alpha over 2, so we divide by 2. Now, 0 0.10 divided by 2 is... 0 
5. Yan ang ating alpha over 2. Ulitin ko, yan ang area sa gilid ng ating normal curve. That is the area of the rejection region at both ends of our normal curve. So 0 0.05, 0 0.05 po yan. Yan. Ang ginagamit natin ng z-table kasi is yung half. So to get the area of the acceptance region, we have to subtract yung ito, yung 0 0.05. We have to subtract that from 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 minus 0 0.05, that is um, 0 0.45. So, it, uh, yung 0 0.05 na yan is the area of this one. Yan po yung area na yan. Okay. So, hanapin natin yung area na to sa z-table. Take note of this, ah. 0 0.45. Hanapin natin to sa z-table. At wala yan sa z-table. But actually, we can get 0 0.45 between these areas. Tama po ba? If we're going to look at this, this is 0.4495 and this is 0.4505. So yung area na to is in between these two. So paano ang z value niyan? We just get po yung nasa tapat, which is 1.6. But what are we going to add there? We have to... Um, uh, get the middle value here. And what is the middle value? Paano po kunin yung middle value dyan? You just have to add those two. This is 0 0.04 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2. Answer, 0 0.045. So if we're going to add that, the z value will be 1.645. So, ang critical value natin dito is 1.645. So, ganun lang po kadali kung paano mag-solve ng critical value.